Like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have terrible luck for the next week. Have you ever thought of a place that could not possibly exist? Like a boiling river, or a volcano with blue lava, or an underwater park? If you have, you may have dismissed these places as areas that just couldn't happen. We'll be giving you a tour of 10 places that are totally real, but should not be able to exist. Yet they do anyway. Number 10. The Bleeding Glacier To know why a bleeding glacier is quite impossible, we have to know what a glacier is first. A glacier is a slowly moving mass or river of ice formed by the accumulation and compaction of snow on mountains or near the poles. Now, this glacier is actually near the poles and it is located in Antarctica. The glacier is about five stories tall and actually forms a weird waterfall. The waterfall pours out of the Taylor Glacier in Antarctica's McMundo Dry Valleys and was first found by a team of geologists in 1911. But what attracted this team of geologists to the glacier in the first place? What made it stand out? Well, it was the color. The glacier looks blood red from afar and looks like it's bleeding. This, of course, is a very irregular sight because we know that glaciers are generally white. But how did this happen? Well, apparently, about two million years ago, a small body of water sealed beneath the glacier. Since the water was isolated from the rest of the world, the microbes in it evolved differently. This increased the salinity and iron content of the sealed water. Recently, a small fissure opened in the glacier cap, and this allowed the now Red River to flow out its side. And this is the reason the glacier is actually bleeding. Number nine the underwater park. In Austria, there's a beautiful park with hiking trails that you can jog through any morning. Well, not any morning. The park is only really functional in autumn. If you'd like to jog in the park during spring, you would have to bring a different sort of outfit. Like a scuba gear? Yep, that's right. During spring, the park is completely submerged in water. But how is that possible? How can water swallow an entire park? Well, the park is near the Oh, Schwab Mountains. The mountains get completely covered by snow in the winter. The snow on the mountain is so much that when it melts, the park's lake actually doubles in size. And yes, that drowns the park. If you swim in the lake during spring, you'll see the hiking trails, the park benches, bridges, and beaches under the water. After spring is done and autumn is on its way, the lake starts to recede and the park comes alive once more. How remarkable. Number eight, the lightning that never ends. A lot of people are scared of thunderstorms. Most dogs don't like it, and most people would rather have their earphones plugged in while thunderstorms rage on. Thankfully, we don't live in a place where thunder and lightning never ends. However, there is such a place like that. In Western Venezuela, just over the Catatumbo River is lightning that never ends. The show of lightning starts at 7 p.m. every night and it clashes over the river for 10 hours each night. This happens about 260 nights every year. Now, we don't know exactly why this happens. We used to believe it had something to do with the uranium in the river's bedrock, but scientists have begun to doubt even that. Today, scientists believe that the shape of the mountains allow warm winds to collide with the cold air from the Andes. That collision is then fueled by methane from a nearby oil field and the rapidly evaporating water from below. But even that is just a theory. No one can tell for sure why it happens. In fact, things got even more confusing when the lightning inexplicably stopped in 2010. However, it resumed again after six weeks and has been growing strong ever since. Number seven, the blue pond of Hokkaido. Have you ever seen a pond that looks like it's made of Kool-Aid? You think such a pond could ever exist? On the Japanese island of Hokkaido, there's an actual lake that may just be made out of Kool-Aid. The water in the lake is a unique shape of blue that looks eerily like something you may find in a video game or a feature movie. As the seasons change, the water of the lake changes even more as it goes through shades of green and blue. But how did this happen? First off, the lake is actually man-made. The locals built a dam in the area and then set up a reservoir where the water that the dam blocked could be collected. To the surprise of the community, the water in the reservoir began to change color. Scientists believe that this strange occurrence was caused by the water having aluminum hydroxide particles that have mingled with it. These particles actually reflect blue light really well. 
and this is why the lake is blue. Number six, the Ringing Rocks of Pennsylvania. In Pennsylvania, there's a hilltop that's properly strange. At the top of the hill, there's a field full of rocks that have quite a weird look about them. Interestingly, we don't know how the rocks got there. There's no higher cliff nearby, so it's impossible for the rocks to have rolled from somewhere down from the hilltop. The Native Americans who knew about the hilltop before the Europeans settled believe that it is a natural phenomenon. That is, no one exactly made an effort to put the rocks there. But that's not the most befuddling thing about this hilltop. When you actually hit the rocks, they make a strange chiming sound that sounds like a cymbal. Upon further investigations, scientists have discovered that the chiming sound is actually made when the rocks vibrate together. Weird, right? I know! Number 5. The Boiling River. Here it is. Deep in the Amazon is a river that the locals call the Shane Timpishka River. Now, this river is no different from other rivers. Well, except one thing. It's actually boiling. The river can even reach about 91 degrees Celsius. The river gets so hot that when animals jump into it, they get cooked from the inside out. Now, what makes this river all the more remarkable is that scientists cannot seem to understand why it boils. Generally, when rivers boil, it's because there's a volcano nearby that is heating up the river. However, the closest volcano to the boiling river is about 700 miles away. Some scientists believe that the river boils because it's right above a fault line deep in the ground, but we cannot say for sure. Number four, the blue volcano. When you imagine a volcano, you probably imagine a huge red mountain blowing red laws all over the place. For the most part, your imagination is correct. That is how volcanoes generally look like. However, there's one volcano that doesn't look like that. In fact, instead of spilling red hot lava, its volcano spills blue lava. Yep, yep, lava that isn't fiery red, but electric blue. The Kawa Yijin volcano is located in Indonesia, and it's a sight to behold. The volcano hosts a sulfur mine because of its huge sulfur deposits. When miners enter the mine, they often switch off their light because of the shiny blue lava that trickles down the side of the mountain. Scientists at first didn't understand what caused the blue liquid to flow down the side of the mountain. But after some investigations, they discovered that it was actually sulfur. Sulfuric gas in the mountain heats up and busts out of it, shooting blue flames right into the air. Afterwards, the gases condense into liquid sulfur, and this spills down the mountain slopes. And this is exactly what blue lava is. Number three, the cave hidden for millions of years. Imagine a cave that hadn't seen sunlight for more than five million years. How do you think it would be? Would there be new organisms inside the cave? How would the air be like? Would it even be a livable space? The most remarkable thing about this cave is that it has been so shut off from the atmosphere of the Earth that it has an entirely different ecosystem from that of Earth. The air in the cave is toxic and is contaminated with hydrogen sulfide. It also has about 100 times Earth's carbon dioxide. Despite this, an entire ecosystem was found in the cave. Researchers found about 33 species of animals in the cave that do not exist outside of it. These animals have actually evolved to survive in the toxic environment of the cave, and they've been able to prosper. Now it's time for today's best pick. Our best picture for today was sent in by a subscriber. If you come across a picture online and would like to know more about it, you can send it in to us. Who knows? Your picture might be featured in a future video. Number two. The Lake of Death. Deep in Russia, there's a lake called Lake Karache that could absolutely kill you if you stood on its shore. Standing on the shore will expose you to radiation that could kill you within an hour. But how did this lake become so toxic? Well, the lake is within a Russian nuclear facility. Most of the nuclear waste derived from this facility was actually pumped into the lake. This was done for a long time until an explosion in the factory spread the radioactive particles in the lake around a 9,000 square miles. Later, in 1967, the waters dried up and the dried radioactive waste was blown further 900 miles away. Today, most of the lake is covered with concrete. This is to stop the radiation from spreading again. Next time you're in Russia, try to avoid visiting Lake Karachi. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. 
Try it. It really works. Number one, Bermuda Triangle. You've probably heard of this so-called myth of the Bermuda Triangle, and you're probably wondering if it's actually true. Well, we don't know if it's true or not, but we do have some facts. The first fact is that the American Navy doesn't recognize that this place actually exists. Doesn't that make you think? It certainly makes us think. The second fact is that it's true. Well, at least the disappearing part of it. There have been many disappearances recorded around the Bermuda Triangle. Now, if you didn't know, the triangle is a loosely defined triangle between Bermuda, Florida, and Puerto Rico. This means that a lot of ships and planes go across it yearly. Surprisingly, a lot of these vessels end up missing. So what could be the cause of this anomaly? Well, some say that the Bermuda Triangle is where the lost city of Atlantis is. If that's true, it may make a lot of sense that vessels carrying supplies could get missing just around that area. That's all for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, click on the like button and subscribe to the channel. You can also check the channel out. We have lots of great videos for you. See you guys, and stay safe.